So we're going to go over some basic uh, navigation tools just on how to use the graph editor and what everything kind of means. Some basic navigations like zooming in, stuff like that, framing your curves, uh, getting in close, etc. Stuff like that. That way you can feel less intimidated and more confident in going in to actually animating. Um, some basic navigation tools are, uh, so like obviously you can use the same scroll function as you would inside the Maya viewport, uh, just using the scroll wheel, or if you press alt, you can right click and you can zoom in and out. And if you press middle mouse click, you can pan. Uh, left clicking won't actually do anything, so it's only the right click and pan. So, I mean, in the viewport, left clicking is, you know, rotating your 3D world, and since the graph editor is just a 2D representation of values from the keys, uh, there's, you know, there's no need for you to use the left click, so it's, you know, right clicking and uh, middle mouse clicking. That's how you, like, navigate. However, sometimes, like, let's say you had your animation selected and you were to hit F in your graph editor, that might frame your stuff, but what if you were like, I want to see this here and that here, but I want to see them, you know, not so far apart. I want to see them closer together. Well, there's a way to frame your animation curves in by holding Alt and Shift. This will open up another two functions, which is right clicking and uh, moving your mouse horizontally. That will frame in your animation, so that way you have them tighter, so you can see the frames closer to each other or further apart. Um, and then if you right click and then start moving up and down, that will make your animation curves a lot bigger this way. This might not seem important right now since I only have two keys on this object, but when you start having a character that has like multiple keys and stuff, it will actually be super helpful because then you can get really tied into stuff. Like let's, let's say we had a key here and it was like this or something. And then we had a key here. And I'm just adding keys so that way like you can kind of see the example. And if we were to just like frame this animation it might look something like this, and it might not look that bad, but when we like zoom in, then we can see in this part here that these curves look kind of funny how they like do that kind of thing. Obviously, I didn't, the animation is kind of just placed in there. It's not really that great, but uh, you kind of get the idea that you can, you know, use this framing tool to like zoom in, and like sometimes your your animation would be like this, and you'll be like, how do I these curves? I don't understand them. Well, just Alt and Shift, and then you can just move vertically like that. Boom, now you have a lot more area to work with. Or horizontal like this, and boom, you have more area to work with. So just a little helpful tip on how to navigate in the viewport using your Alt button. You got your middle mouse click, your right mouse click, and then Alt and Shift, and then right click, scroll left and right, right click, move up and down. So. That is how to navigate, navigate in the viewport. Cheers.